Right friends, welcome back to questions and answers for 30th week. This is from 25th July to 31st July 2016. Central government approved rupees 1600 crore for skill development initiative Himayat. This Himayat is with the special reference to Jammu and Kashmir. Please don't forget. And 1 lakh 24,000 local youth will be trained in vocational courses during the next three years. and the training will be in modules of duration 6 months 9 months and 1 year so if someone talks about the himayat this is for skill development in jammu and kashmir which of the following has raised rupees 5 billion that means 500 crores of rupees through the issue of a 5 year offshore rupee linked bonds this 5 year offshore rupee linked bonds of rupees 500 crore were raised by asian development bank and this asian development bank is headquartered in philippines established in 1966 it is a multilateral lending institution please don't forget and here one important point is india is the largest borrower from asian development bank please don't forget and at the same time india is the fourth largest shareholder in asian development bank and if you look at aiib india is the second largest shareholder in beijing headquartered aiib whereas the fourth largest shareholder in philippines based asian development bank then another important point is these bonds are denominated in indian rupees the bonds denominated in indian rupees are called masala bonds please don't forget and they are settled in us dollars and here the currency risk lies with the investor basic thing i would like to tell you if the money is raised in indian rupees then currency risk lies with the investor and if the money is raised in other currencies like dollars or euro then the currency risk lies with the borrower so by issue of masala bonds the currency risk is shifted from borrower to the investor that is the basic difference please don't forget and another important point i would like to tell you recently indian companies one is a private sector company other one is public sector company they raised money through issue of masala bonds hdfc limited became the first indian company to raise money by issue of masala bonds they raised rupees 3000 crore for a duration of 3 years 1 month and ntpc that is public sector giant in india raised rupees 2000 crores by issue of green masala bonds for a duration of 5 years and you may ask what is meant by green masala bond green means that money will be utilized for renewable energy projects or energy g efficiency projects and at the same time masala bonds means money raised in indian currency so if someone talks about first indian company to raise masala bonds that is hdfc please don't forget and in masala bonds the currency risk lies with the investor right Tata Sons agreed to deposit 1.17 billion dollars with the Delhi High Court. There is a dispute between Tata and Ducomo. This entity Ducomo and Tata some time back came together to start Tata Ducomo and subsequently Ducomo wants to withdraw from our country by selling their shares and there is a dispute and this Ducomo belongs to Japan. Right? so if someone talks about ntt ducomo this company belongs to japan look into the next one mintra this is decided to buy japong for 70 million dollars it is all cash deal basically they came together only to take up the rival amazon and please don't forget some time back flipkart purchased mintra and now mintra purchased jabong for 70 million dollars and with this the three the trio that means flipkart mintra and jabong will hold 75% share in online fashion and lifestyle market 
white fly disease. This is into the news recently because it affected lot of areas of cotton crop in Punjab. And if someone talks about a white fly, it affected cotton crop in Punjab. That is one aspect. And another aspect is recently BT cotton is not able to take care against bollworm. That is another significant development. Iram Sharmila, she is the Iron Lady of Manipur. The 44-year-old rights activist from Manipur decided to call off her hunger strike after 16 years, she started hunger strike in November 2000, basically against the imposition of Armed Forces Special Powers Act 1958. And during the past 16 years, she is forcibly fed through a nasal tube in Jawaharlal Nehru Hospital in fall. And now, after 16 years, she decided to call off the fast and she will contest in the assembly elections likely to be held in next year. Right? So, the answer here is Manipur. Permanent Court of Arbitration Tribunal at The Hague ruled against Government of India. The case is of Antrix Corporation scrapping the satellite deal of Devas Multimedia Private Limited. And Antrix is the commercial arm of ISRO. Antrix is the commercial arm of ISRO. Some time back, because of some allegations, Antrix cancelled the contract with Devas Multimedia Private Limited. And Devas went into arbitration. And finally, Permanent Court of Arbitration awarded damages of $672 million along with interest. So, if someone talks about Antrix, that is the commercial arm of ISRO. Please don't forget. In Olympics, India won gold medal latest in 2008. And we got 9 gold so far, 6 silver, 11 bronze. Total medals tally of our country during the 120 years of Olympics history is just 26 medals. 9 gold, 6 silver and 11 bronze. We got 8 gold medals for men's hockey. And the latest gold medal in men's hockey was in 1980. And individual gold medal is only for Abhinav Bindra, who got for 10 meter air rifle event in 2008 Beijing Olympics. And in 2012 London Olympics, we got 2 silver and 4 bronze, total 6 medals. And at the same time, please don't forget, 2020 Olympics are going to be held in Tokyo. Justice Iqbal Ahmad Ansari, sworn in as the Chief Justice of Patna High Court. He will be the 39th Chief Justice of Patna High Court. And two things I would like to tell you. Patna High Court recently completed 100 years of its existence, established in 1916. Second important point is, the Governor of the state administers the oath of office for Chief Justice as per Article 219 of the Constitution. 2020 Olympics going to be held in Tokyo just now I have told you and at present Rio de Janeiro Olympics are the 31st Summer Olympic Games and India's contingent is the highest and comprises 118 strong and some news reports quote 119. Right? Look into the next one. World Day Against Trafficking in Persons was celebrated on July 30. Human trafficking is the trade of human beings and human trafficking takes place for forced labor, sexual slavery and commercial exploitation. And if someone talks about World Day Against Trafficking in Persons, that is July 30. Don't forget. Srinivasan K. Swami got a Lifetime Achievement Award conferred by Advertising Agencies Association of India or Triple AI and he got it for Advertising Sector and he is the Chairman of RK Swami Hansa. Right? So, if someone talks about the Srinivasan K. Swami, he got a Lifetime Achievement Award in Advertising Sector by AAAI. 
first ever meeting of the BRICS Employment Working Group was held in Hyderabad and basically it is to shape the agenda for labor and employment in BRICS countries and please don't forget in October 2016 BRICS summit is going to be held in Goa in September 2016 G20 summit is going to be held in China Hangzhou China and at the same time in November 2016 SARC summit is going to be held in Islamabad these things please don't forget September G20 summit in China, October BRICS summit Goa India and November SARC summit in Islamabad Pakistan Look into the next one Parliament passed compensatory afforestation fund bill under which national compensatory afforestation fund will be created and it will be created under public account please don't forget and government accounts are maintained in three ways the consolidated fund of india when we are paying taxes that will go to consolidated fund of india second one is contingency fund of india if there is some emergency like earthquake floods immediate expenditure can be made from contingency fund of india third one is public account all our small savings will be under public account right so like that national compensatory afforestation fund will be maintained under public account international tiger day this was observed on 29th july and st petersburg tiger summit in 2010 decided to celebrate global tiger day the aim of this is to double the tiger population by 2022 and the worldwide fund for nature at the same time international fund for animal welfare these two are associated with the celebrations and don't forget worldwide fund for nature is based in switzerland that is a place called gland and ifaw is based in massachusetts united states of america and india accounts for almost 60% of global tiger population please don't forget Pandit Lachu Maharaj passed away recently. He was a famous tabla maestro and he belongs to Benares Gharana of classical music and original name was Lakshmi Narayan Singh and government decided to give Padma Shri award some time back but he refused. July 28th was observed as World Hepatitis Day. And here I would like to tell few points if someone talks about hepatitis hepatitis basically affects liver why july 28th july 28th we celebrate because it is the birth anniversary of baruch bloomberg baruch bloomberg discovered hepatitis b virus and to honor his birth anniversary we celebrate july 28 as the world hepatitis day and bloomberg who discovered hepatitis b virus was awarded nobel prize in 1976 and the idea is to eliminate hepatitis by 2030 and please don't forget world health organization has got eight global public health campaigns please look into this slide there are eight public global health campaigns and march 24th is the world tuberculosis day then april 7 most important world health day and at the same time last week of april is celebrated as world immunization week and world malaria day is also in april april 25 so in april april 7 is the world health day then april last week is world immunization week then world malaria day is april 25 at the same time no tobacco day is on 31st may then world blood donor day is on 14 june and hepatitis day just now we have discussed 28th july and december 1st please don't forget the world aids day so these eight are the global health campaigns started by world health organization India United States of America joint venture expedition discovered natural gas hydrates in Indian Ocean you may ask what is meant by natural gas hydrate natural gas hydrate 
is the combination of natural gas and water and normally occur in icy form. So, it is the combination of natural gas and water in icy form. Recently, US-India joint expedition discovered natural gas hydrates in Indian Ocean. And these are normally found in oceans and polar regions. And they are mostly methane or CH4. This thing also, please don't forget. BRICS policy planning dialogue was concluded at Patna. The basic idea is to share ideas in foreign policy planning and assessment. India became the first country when it contributed $1 lakh dollars to the United Nations Trust Fund in support of victims of sexual exploitation and abuse by peacekeepers. And this was established in March 2016 and India became the first country to give contribution to UN Trust Fund basically to address the issue of sexual exploitation and abuse by UN civilian and uniformed personnel when they are protecting or when they are engaged in the areas for peacekeeping. Union government is planning to redraw Red Corridor. These are the districts affected by Naxalite Maoist insurgency. If someone talks about the Red Corridor in our country, that is the region affected by Naxalite Maoist insurgency. And at present, it covers 106 districts in 10 states. And they are also known as left-wing extremism affected districts. If someone talks about LWE districts, they are left-wing extremism affected districts. Nothing but affected by Naxalite Maoist insurgency. And at present, there are 106 districts in 10 states and government wants to reduce them. Manavadi Chirathod and Anant Naruka won the bronze medals in Junior World Cup. Name the sport we are talking about. We are talking about the shooting. Right friends, with this, let us conclude the questions and answers. Have a nice day. Thank you.